Hey guys, welcome back to Halo Canon. As we approach the end of the month, once again we are blessed with another issue of Halo Escalation. This time around, uh, I'm pretty satisfied. Issue 11 marks the departure of Brian Reed and the start of Duffy Dobru's tenure. It's a wonderful change of pace that, while not perfect, is certainly welcome. So without further ado, let's dive in. Our story starts on May 8th of 2558 on the planet Ven 3, an unclaimed planet once used, on and off, as a Covenant staging area now on the edge of the Joint Operations Zone. A UNSC drone makes its way into the former Covenant Research Facility, finding a number of dead Kigyar and tanks with Mini Cthulhu. Seriously, I can't be the only one who thought of that. Maybe the aliens from Independence Day? Anyway, these dead Kigyar are described as having strange boil-like legions and limb loss due to desiccation or extreme dryness. And I gotta stop and comment that the art here, it's absolutely stunning. The perspective, the detail, and dear god, Sarah Osman has a beard! Holy hullabaloo, Batman! What the fuck happened? The art went from stellar to slipshot in the turn of a page. And dear god, she looks so dead-eyed. Okay, okay, let's... Let's move on. It's certainly not the worst, just kind of shocking. So anyway, Lasky and Osman are discussing the images sent by the drone. Given the unknown nature of the incident, Osman wants a small team sent in to keep the situation on the down low. To respond to this threat, Lasky has selected Spartans Ray and Thor for the- Oh! Holy hodgepodge! Come on! What the hell is that? This comic is like re-watching old cartoons from your childhood. You think everything's awesome until you realize it all looks like a pile of shit! I mean, seriously, Ray and Thorne's expressions here pretty much reflect my feelings. Much as I would love to keep complaining about the art, there is more to the story. So, Lasky briefs Ray and Thorne about Ven 3 and the dead Kigyar. However, prior to finding the Kigyar, the spy drone spotted an unknown Sangheili leaving the area with a strange container. Given what was found later, it's likely this container holds a sample of the unknown biological agent. Strangely, the Sangheili seems to be alone. If he was with anyone, the drone hadn't seen them. Given the situation, the UNSC is inclined to think that this Sangheili is one of Julum Dama's cohorts. Ray and Thorne's job is to hunt him down, snatch him up, and bring him in for questioning. Taking a prowler, Ray and Thorne make their way to Ven 3. As they make their way towards the mysterious Sangheili's last known location, they find themselves in a narrow canyon and a jamming field. From the high ground, the mysterious elite watches the Spartans, the UNSC drone damaged and in hand. On board Infinity, Roland notes the loss of communication. Feeling stuck and with orders to avoid engagement, Lasky orders Palmer up to the bridge. Back on Ven 3, Ray and Thorne have found the Covenant facility. Initially quiet, the two soon find themselves under fire. Kind of strange, given that Spartans have motion trackers, but it could easily be argued that the Sanghelian Kigyar were out of the limited range. Ray and Thorne engage their attackers, with both kicking some serious ass. I have to say, it's kind of refreshing to see the Spartan 4 is given their due. It's too often that I felt that they weren't. Also interesting is the appearance of the thruster pack. Looking at the art, it's very reminiscent of the Spartan thruster ability seen in the Halo 5 beta trailer. <laughs> Moving on, as Ray engages the Kigyar, Thorn goes after the Sangheili. Unfortunately, the Sangheili sticks Thorn with some unknown device that takes him out of commission. As Ray finishes off the Kigyar, the Sangheili escapes on his ghost, Thorn in tow. Back on Infinity, Palmer is none too pleased with Lasky. Rightfully so. As he asks for another two-man team to recover Thorn and Ray, Palmer rebuffs his request, stating that she'll only send a proper fire team or nothing at all. Before discussion goes any further, Roland is able to re-establish contact with Ray. How you ask? She moved out of the signal jammer's range. Nothing necessarily wrong with that, just kind of different for Halo. I like it. Anyway, Ray, following the mysterious Sangheili, stumbles upon a huge Kigyar operation. As it turns out, Ven 3 is being used as a pirate's nest, with slaving and weapons trade both active trades. Let's stop for a moment though and, and look at this one panel. What in the hell are these things? I mean, we see humans, an ungoy, but what the hell are these? Female Sangheili? Female Jirohanai? Some entirely new species? Bad art? I'm inclined to go with bad art. Please say it's bad art. Anyway, Ray spots the Sangheili, the canister, and Thorn. As she locks her coordinates, a Kigyar somehow manages to get the drop on Ray. It's that damn crouching cheat. It always gets me in multiplayer. Assassination! 
on Infinity, Lasky finally decides to take action, ordering Roland to head for Ven 3 and Palmer to have all Spartan teams on deck. So, that's Halo Escalation 11. The writing is a vast improvement over the last few issues, almost on par with some of Chris Schlerf's stuff. The pacing is great, and while there are some minor issues, such as the apparent lack of Ray's motion tracker, the issue was a great read. If I had any real complaints outside of the art, it would be that the events don't seem to have any connection to Halo Nightfall, something I was really hoping for. I mean, hey, both feature a bioweapon, so who can blame me? Who can blame all the others who thought this? Still, it's only the first issue and there is more to come. Connections could still be made. As I say, only time will tell. Looking forward, as always, the cover and description for issue 14 are out, and it looks exciting. We're finally getting a proper follow-up to the events of Spartan Ops, returning to Julem Dama, Dr. Halsey, and the Janus Key. Perhaps even more exciting is that this will mark the arrival of a new artist, Sergio Arino. Google that name if you want a preview of his art. When you do, I think you'll understand why I'm excited for this new artist. Issue 14 will also mark the start of a four-part story arc, and I cannot wait for that. Well, thank you all for joining me as always. For now, this has been Halo Canon, and for those of you wondering why I don't acknowledge Sung Healy, I'm a Spartan. Also, it's Halo 4, and there's no Elite bottles. Maybe when Halo 2 Anniversary gets here, they got Elites. Till next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.